All right, well, editing this, I realized the video got really long, so let me boil it down to the simplest key points. First step is to download and install Crossover for Mac. Second step, through Crossover, install Steam and Elden Ring. Third step is to reboot your whole MacBook Pro, not just the one instance. The fourth step is to create the uh, steam.cfg file to prevent Steam from updating inside of the uh, bottle. And then you're good to run Elden Ring. Uh, your controller just connects through Bluetooth, assuming it's the Xbox One wireless controller. Now, if you want to, if you want to use the fifth mat's uh, enemy and item randomizer, download Mod Engine 2, extract the randomizer inside of it, and update the Elden Ring config file to point to the randomizer. You can't launch it through the, the uh, randomizer, or you can't launch Elden Ring through the randomizer, or through the Mod Mod Engine launcher, but you can by pointing uh, crossover at the batch file. That's all there is to it. Here's the full video. So I just got my brand new M3 Max MacBook Pro. My first question might be the same as you, how do I play Elden Ring on it? And the answer turns out to be pretty simple, but has a couple of important wrinkles, and I didn't see them documented anywhere else online. So let's go through it. So the first thing you'll need to do is grab Crossover for Mac. Uh, it's worth noting that the free trial is two weeks. You can buy it. And if you just look at the web page, it looks like, oh no, it's going to be $74 a year. It's worth noting that this is months of support. So it's a year of uh, updates and live support. Uh, if you buy this and then a year goes by, you'll still have access to the last version that you uh, had at the end of the year. You won't be getting the new updates, but they won't take your software away. But for just for this, you can take the, the free trial, enter your details, and download it. So I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to skip ahead of it. I'll put them crossover. So here I already have a, a, a bottle uh, configured, but if I didn't, all I'll do is go down to install at the bottom, type in Elden Ring, and hit install. And this is going to create a new bottle, install a bunch of fonts. Uh, it's going to install Steam. You'll have to log into Steam and uh, do the standard install where it will download all the files. Uh, one important note that isn't included in the kind of uh, official documentation is after you've done the full install, you have to reboot. Not just the uh, the Wine instance, but your entire MacBook Pro needs to be rebooted. Otherwise, trying to launch Elden Ring will result in a, a Wine error. Not entirely sure why that is, but rebooting has worked both times that I've tried it. So one other note uh, that's important when using Steam through this is, uh, so this is my bottle, uh, you need to make sure that Steam doesn't automatically update. For some reason, when Steam automatically updates in Crossover, uh, it causes an issue with the Steam Web Helper app. So one way to make sure that it, it never updates, so you want to go to uh, the C drive of that bottle, which is actually a folder kind of deep on your computer. And if we jump into the program files, Steam, there's the Steam config file. So it might not exist for you, it probably doesn't. Um, you can use any text editor, your, your text edit, your Vim, uh, your Nano or whatever, Emacs. And you just want this to be a plain text file that says bootstrapper inhibit all equals enable. Just one line text. And uh, if you do do it through text edit, do make sure that it's not rich text, that it's a plain text file. And if, as long as this file exists in your Steam, Steam directory, it won't try to automatically update so it won't stop working in the middle. Uh, so with that out of the way, uh, one thing you probably want to use is a controller. And there's kind of on and off con uh, controller support through uh, through Crossover. This one is a, a Xbox One or a, a Xbox One Core, I believe, wireless controller. And all we have to do is pop up in our, our Bluetooth devices, use the button at the top, and hold it, to initiate pairing, that flashing light, we'll see, ah, nearby devices, Xbox wireless controller, connect. Recognizes it, and we're connected. It even sees that the battery is kind of low. So it's worth noting, I couldn't get this to work wired. However, if you uh, have a USB-C to USB-C, you can plug this in, and it won't be doing communication over the wire, but it will be keeping it charged, which means you won't have any risk of you know, it giving out in the middle of a boss fight or something horrific. All right, I'm back after a bit of a technical hitch. So what you need to do 
is make sure you disconnect and reconnect your controller until when you go to the uh, game controllers window here, controller for Xbox One, uh, controller Xbox One for Windows shows up under the connected X input device. Here it shows two copies. That's that's fine. That's just a little bit of bugginess, but uh, it has to show up there. Otherwise, when you're in game, it will not work. So you can either start Elden Ring here, or you can go to uh, to Steam and hit play like you would if you were on Windows. We got our Elden Ring cursor, and we should get our uh, Bandai Namco, all that fun stuff. All right, and just like that, we're Elden Ring and some tarnishing maidens. Uh, so I do have one bit of addenda. So I, can, I can continue and jump on in. a second to load. Generally speaking, the performance is quite good. to talk about is how to use the um, the randomizer on Mac. So uh, let's get this well and truly stopped. All right, so what you need to do is grab two things from Nexus mods. Uh, the first is the Elden Ring item and enemy randomizer. Uh, this is the one published by the fifth mat. Um, yeah, you just go to files, uh, manual download, use the, the slow. You will need the, uh, the .NET 6.0 runtime. Um, both of these, you can run them uh, by going into the, uh, the Steam bottle. So if we go here, so you can download them on the Mac side, open the C drive of your Steam bottle, and go to the just the desktop. So the user account is called Crossover, so I just went to the desktop there and dropped stuff in. Uh, so I have the Windows desktop runtime. This is the, the .NET framework that I installed. And uh, the way to get the randomizer to work is actually to extract it inside of Mod Engine 2. So Mod Engine 2 is a kind of separate uh, mod manager. You can download it uh, in the Win64 version and, win and extract it uh, onto the desktop of the wine bottle. And just make sure the randomizer, when you extract that file, you put that folder here. So because it's inside the wine bottle, when I run this, it'll pop up the fifth mats randomizer. Move this down a bit. So you can set all your options. Uh, one thing that will not work is if you try to launch Elden Ring from here. Um, it, it throws a bug, it doesn't work. But you can set all of your, all of your options Hit randomize items and enemies. I've got a seed going right now, so I don't want to. I don't want to change it. But that will do. Will will generate all the randomized files uh, inside the the folder. And as long as that's inside of Mod Engine. All right. So the last step in uh, getting the randomizer working, after everything has been extracted and randomized, is to edit the uh, config underscore Elden Ring dot tomal. And you can just pop it open in text edit. And the only real thing you need to add here is so all the things with uh, hashtags are commented out. So you just need to make sure it's true. So it will attempt to load mods. And down here inside this mods list, enable true name default path is lowercase randomizer. It just has to be the same name as this folder. Uh, and once that's true and all set up and saved, you should be good to go. However, if you try to just run Mod Engine 2 launcher, uh, you can hit issues. So what I ended up having to do was, uh, so this launch mod Elden Ring bat, it's a batch file. Uh, it doesn't want you to run it here directly. But if you go here and use run command, inside that Steam bottle, you can browse to that. So that'll be under, you know, user, crossover, desktop, mod engine. Uh, 
launch mod Elden Ring bat. So what I did, uh, I used save command as launcher, so I could have a shortcut here. But if we don't, if we just run this, see we have a little, little launcher pop up, and bam, it launches Elden Ring. Except for this time, now it has injected uh, the randomized files. So we can see that if I uh, if I go to the character creation. doesn't really look like the standard equipment you start with, so I would say this is, this is thoroughly randomized. So that's all there is to it. Uh, if you'd like to see more Elden Ring on Mac Silicon, you can join me over at twitch.tv slash palastronaut, uh, where I stream various video games, but in the near future I'll be streaming an Elden Ring, Elden Ring randomizer run. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, Godspeed and happy gaming!